This is not my first experience um, narrating an audiobook because when I was little, very little, about seven years old, my little sister um, used not to be able to sleep, so I would make her audiobooks with my Fish Price tape recorder and I, I did most of the Mary Poppins books, but they were very, very bad. I would stumble and sort of get bored and go off for lunch and leave the tape running and all sorts. So, yeah, hopefully I'll do a bit better this time. My my writing style, especially um, in the kind of narrative sections of the book, is is very chatty. Anyway, it's um, it's deliberately supposed to be familiar because I wanted it to be the book that didn't sound like all the other running books. So being able to do the audio and to be actually chatty was um, was really satisfying to kind of to be able to kind of use the pleading tones and things like that when there were particularly anxious moments or really firm about stuff that I really believe it's it's been a real joy <laughs> on really long marathon training runs I think there's a point after an hour or two where music just starts to grate there is no playlist that I think can get you much further than 10 miles and so I start to listen to kind of I've listened to some John le Carré books and um, some more of the classics more of the things I would maybe not read on the train. I chose Running Like a Girl for a title because I really specifically wanted this to be a book for women. It was, um, you know, obviously it would be a pleasure if men read the narrative sections, but the reason I wrote the book was because as a reviewer and being on Twitter, um, people quite often ask me for recommendations for certain things. And when I was doing my marathons and tweeting about them, other people were starting to tweet me questions. And it was taking up a lot of time answering all these questions. And I thought, well, what I need to do is just find one book that covers all of this. And then I can just like favourite the link and send it to them. And then this will just make my life easier. But I obviously didn't make my life easier because I discovered that the book I wanted to recommend to all these people didn't exist and I had to write it. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that it was for women. And I, I um denied a lot about whether to use the word girl because there's a little bit of sort of patronising implication with it rather than woman. Um, but then I think most people either can kind of tell from the rest of the copy on the jacket or whatever that it's it's not to do with thinking that women who run are sort of more childlike than other women but to do with tone and familiarity and jokiness.